Hi there, this is Fixed It. I'm just preparing this uh, video for YouTube. It's a 3D VR Wowie Flytech Dragonfly unboxing video. And everything's gone pretty okay until I went to share it. And I've come up with a 10,008 error um, telling me that there's defective material. I've been uh, playing the video to try and figure out what's wrong. If I just zoom back out um, and I've cut the uh, video down to these last few sections and I've identified that this is the problem section and if I zoom in on it and I move along the timeline just grab the timeline and move along you'll see it goes black, black and black okay now that's what's causing the 10,008 error so what I'll need to do is to extend a couple of the frames that work um, have a slight freeze frame uh, in fact what I could do is actually slow the uh, section that's working down slightly um, so I'll get more frames and they will just about then cover this real glitch that's in there and with a bit of luck, if I can remove the glitch, everything should be okay. Um, so what I'll do is I will zoom in even further. Okay, so there's the first glitch. Use the slider to zoom in even more and see if I can spot exactly where it is. Okay, so here we go. There's one comes back four frames and then it goes again for another frame so basically I've got five frames not a great deal happens during those five frames and in fact you would hardly notice it at all um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace those frames at 1 minute 1 second and 16 or 17 18 19 20 is ok 21 is defective and 22 and then hopefully when I do that everything will be okay the easiest way to test this is to section your video off into components and then go to share and do share as 720 Apple device 720 and and then share it as Apple devices 720p what this will do is it will create you a video on the desktop and you're not really interested in the video what you're interested in is at which point it crashes and this video is in fact a lot lot longer and I've, I've deleted quite a bit of material and I now know which section it is so I can put the other bits back and hopefully when I put it back I'll uh, I'll just run this section again and uh, we should be able to see whether or not it fixes it okay so what I've done is I've taken a working frame and um, I've added a freeze frame using that working frame and I've stretched it across the dead gap and then I've actually deleted the dead frames so as you can see it's actually too big at the moment um, and immediately then done a test and as we can see what's happened is it shared successfully so now the only job remaining for me to do is actually to reduce that back to the original size and let's just see how it plays if, because otherwise the doggies might get I didn't even see it if, because otherwise the doggies might get it so there's a slight jitter in there but there was no change to the audio or anything so if you didn't know it was there um, you wouldn't really notice it and that's now fixed so now what I can do is I can add everything back to the uh, front of the video and then share it with YouTube so if you've got the 10,008 problem this is uh, what you need to do you need to identify the frames by sectioning your video and then doing a share with the multiple sections until you find the damaged section 
and then identify the single frames within that section that are blank. I hope you like the video and you find it useful and that you'll subscribe to my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.